Hi, hello guys, welcome to IAS Expert YouTube channel. Today we will know what are the types of glaciers. And before starting this video, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for latest UPSC videos. So, what are glaciers? Glaciers are large masses of ice that cover land areas and are in constant motion due to the pressure and weight of ice. They are formed from accumulation of snow that has not fully melted over time. There are several different types of glaciers, each with unique characteristics and formed in distinct environment. 91% of glaciers are in Antarctica and 8% are in Greenland. They occupy about 10% of world total land area. As you can see in this map, this is Greenland with 8% ice and here is the Antarctica with 91% ice and this is Tibet plateau. What are the types of glaciers? The first one is continental glacier or ice sheets, alpine glaciers or valley glaciers, Piedmont glaciers, Sir glaciers, Tide water glaciers and rock glaciers. So, coming to the first type, continental glaciers or ice sheets. These are the largest type of glaciers and cover vast areas of land, often spanning thousands of square kilometers. The Greenland and Antarctica ice sheets are examples of continental glaciers. They are found in high altitudes and are fed by snow that accumulates over large areas. As the snow accumulates, the pressure of weight of snow compacts the snow into the ice, causing it to flow and spread out. This flow and spreading leads to formation of continental glaciers. See, as you can see in this picture, there is a continuous accumulation of ice and there is a fresh snow, which compacts due to the mass of fresh snow, it will become into ice. Alpine glacier or valley glacier. These glaciers form in mountain valleys and move down slope under the influence of gravity. They are often fed by snow that accumulates on higher elevations and can carve valleys as they move. Alpine glaciers are smaller than continental glaciers and are found in mountain ranges throughout the world. Example, Himalayan mountains, Alpine mountains and these are the Al uh, Alpine glaciers. They can be found in high altitudes in both temperate and polar climate. As you can see in this picture, here is a mountain and this is a glacier. Piedmont glaciers. These glaciers occur when valley glaciers spread out or plain. They are formed from convergence of several valley glaciers into a single larger glacier. Piedmont glaciers are found in areas with large amount of snowfall such as Alaska and Canadian Rockies. See, these are the mountains and this is the plain. The snow move downwards and form Piedmont Glacier. Sir Glacier. These are small glaciers that form in circular hollows or balls at head of valleys. They are often found in high mountain areas and are fed by snow that accumulates in circular basins. The ice in Sir Glacier moves outwards and downwards creating a distinct U-shaped valley as the glacier flows down the mountain. See, this is a Sir Glacier. Tidewater Glacier. These glaciers flow into the ocean and cause of icebergs. They are found in coastal areas and are fed by snow and ice that accumulated on land. As the glacier moves into the ocean, 
the pieces of glacier breaks off and float away as icebergs. This carving process is what makes tidewater glaciers unique. This is tidewater glacier. The ice and snow from land accumulates at the end of shore or coastal area. Due to the pressure, there will be some breakage of glacier which forms icebergs which float in sea or ocean. Rock glaciers. These are permafrost covered masses of rock debris that move down slope under the influence of gravity. Rock glaciers are found in areas with permafrost where the ground is frozen year round. They form from the snow movement of rock debris combined with freeze thaw cycles of permafrost, causing the rock and ice to move as single unit. See, as you can see in this picture, there is a rock glacier formed by rocks and ice. Due to permafrost cycle, the ice between the rocks accumulates, freezes and melts. When it starts melts, due to the pressure of gravity, the rock debris starts moving downwards, which forms rock glaciers. Glaciers play significant role in global climate and water cycle. They store vast amount of fresh water, which can be released as melt water and contribute to sea level rise. The movement of glaciers also shapes the landscape, carving valleys and creating unique landforms. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for latest UPSC videos. Thank you.